So just a quick showing of the setup I'm doing for the light test, for the dark frame subtraction and for the MLV app noise reduction. So basically I just have one key light. Um, it is the newer 660 bicolor. So it's so I got it set up over here so that way the chair is casting a shadow on the books and then we also have some books on the left there that are in the light and the rug is also kind of both in the light and in the shadow. So that way we'll be able to look at some of the highlights, some of the dark spots. And on right now I'm recording on the Canon EOS M50 Mark II at ISO 400. Okay, so we got here the Magic Lantern screen pulled up. And so basically you want to just make sure that whatever settings that you have set up for recording is going to be the exact same settings that you have for the dark um, dark frame subtraction. So right now these are the settings I have set up. And so basically once you get those settings set up, so you can put something like a cap in front of the lens and you'll record just, just the noise. And you can say on the audio what settings and everything you have. And so you just record a few seconds. So this is me doing a test. And I already have some of these set up. And then you can stop it after a few seconds. Then when you get, want your different ISO settings, you can just um, go through the screen and increase them. So by hitting the up button and so on and so forth. Okay, so here is MLV app and I went ahead and loaded the two files that we'll use to make uh, the files for the dark frame subtraction. So basically you just need to know what it's, uh, what your specs are for the, or the settings are. And over here on the export settings, instead of doing uh, cinema DNG uncompressed, you want to actually export your MLV file as an MLV file. And instead of doing fast pass, you want to do averaged frame. And I also leave the audio on so that way I can actually listen to the video in case if I mislabel it. Okay, so this one here, I already know what it is. So when I export, I can go ahead and choose this right here because I actually already have the file. But for some reason, this one puts uh, lines in my frame and I'm not sure if it's because of ISO uh, 100 or if it's uh, the file that I had, but I'm gonna go ahead and just overwrite this file. So basically, this is all that you have to do is uh, go through each uh, ISO setting that you want to have and create a file for each one. And also, you want to make sure that you match your ISO um, with your video file that's going to be your final video and the one that you record for the dark frame subtraction. Because uh, I had them mismatched on one of them and it gave me weird like dead pixel issues. So you want to make sure that you do that. Okay, so um, after you do this, then we can go in and show you some of the, uh, uh, the before and afters. Okay, so now once you get your files that you want, and you've prepped all the files that you need for the dark frame subtraction, what you do is you go over here and you choose what one you want to use for your file. So this is actually a recording of ISO 100. But I'll show you what happens when I actually use it. And also, if you can't zoom in, uh, you can choose it right here with a right mouse click. So, okay, so here in Alexa, I put it, uh, I had it at Rec 709, put it in Alexa Log C, so brighten up the image a little bit. So when you come in here and you zoom in, what you can actually see is you see lines and everything. For whatever reason, I don't know why ISO uh, 100 does that. So, and if you want to see the before, you can just turn it off and on. So it's a before and after. So it gets rid of quite a bit of the pink noise, but it still puts lines and everything for whatever reason. 
And so I seem to have had okay success by choosing ISO 200. And then normally that gets rid of the lines. And so uh, this is without noise reduction and all that jazz, I think. Yeah, so, and I actually have a receipt. I guess for whatever reason they call them receipts as opposed to like presets or whatever. But uh, anyway, so I have one that I've chosen for the noise reduction. So, and I'll have to change it back from Rec 709. And so now we're looking at the noise reduction settings that I have here. So I got uh, the median denoise strength set to 75, the RBF denoise luminance set to 20, RBF denoise chroma set to 70, and RBF denoise range set to 50. And then also uh, went back and sharpened it and put the masking on at 50. So um, I'll do a before and after. And I'll probably color grade it a little bit just so it doesn't look all washed out and everything to give you guys an idea of what it'll look like. And then I'll also process these other files here too as well. I'll let you guys see how it looks. And I guess before I click off, I had some issues using Chroma Smooth that gave me weird artifacts. So I actually don't have that on. And vertical stripes, I don't seem to have an issue with those. So I just leave that off. And uh, the pattern noise, for whatever reason, when you turn it on, it'll actually introduce uh, these weird artifacts into the file. So I don't use pattern noise either. And I don't know, I probably could actually turn fixed focus uh, dots off. But uh, yeah, so, and then everything right now, I've pretty much left the same. I'm not doing any color, uh, any color grading in the MLV app. Okay, this is me doing the video test with ISO 100 and on the newer a 660 bicolor LED light. I actually turned it all the way to basically 9 o'clock where it's got the first dash for uh, being able to to uh, have both the colors turned on. And so it's fairly dark right now. And I'm doing that so that way when I turn the ISO up, I don't have to do any adjustments to the aperture. Um, and you'll actually be able to see um, the exact same lighting setup without me adjusting the lights. So you can see how good it handles a fairly dim lit room. And so right now I have, uh, I think they're two, maybe 240 watt bulb equivalents. And it's putting out maybe about the same amount of light. So ISO 100. Okay, so this is me doing ISO 200. Okay, this is me doing ISO 400. Okay, this is doing ISO 800.
This is me doing ISO 1600.